I mean, uh, so many people are trying to make this crossing and tragically more have lost their lives overnight. What can be done to stop this? Well, what we need to do and what is with every single one of these deaths more desperate and more urgent for us to do is to recognize the reality that there is no policing our way out of our responsibility to protect a small proportion of the people around the world who are forced to flee their homes and seek protection uh, in safe and rich countries like the UK, to recognize that responsibility and to offer them safe alternatives to the smugglers' boats. That is the only thing in the long term that will ever stop them from being forced into these situations where people die. And the most important thing for us to remember at this point is that these four individuals, each one of their lives mattered uh, and was important, and that we must not become desensitized by the continuous repetition of these types of stories to think that it is normal. It is not normal, and it is created by our policies that seek to deter people and turn people away. They will never work. We need to offer people alternatives and real solutions. Otherwise, we'll just keep hearing about these awful stories. And the Labour government, Zoe, were quick to tear up the Rwanda bill, the Rwanda plans. What do you suggest now needs to be the next plan? Um, you talk about legal ways. You know, what does that plan look like, do you think? Well, I think it's a real challenge, but I think that at this moment in time, the Labour government will never have as much power as it has right now. They have just won a huge mandate. They are in power with a very significant majority. They have the ability right now to change the direction more significantly into one that embraces reality um, and that uh, aims to save people's lives and for the UK to play our part. So what that really looks like in practice is um, going into negotiations with our neighbours across Europe, taking the lead in Europe to turn around the the current uh, status quo, which is that every country seeks to be hostile in order to push refugees to seek asylum in their neighbour instead. So we say that refugees simply should stay in France because they're located to the east of us. And France says that refugees simply should stay in Italy because they're located to the east of us and on and on and on. And that is what creates these deaths. So we need to come together to recognize that people need solutions and that pushing people away will never work and has never worked. It has only resulted in deaths. So that means providing people with travel documents for the purpose of entering the UK to seek asylum. The Labour government have already said they're going to run an asylum system. That's the bare minimum, but it's a lot more than the last government was doing. They refused to process people's claims and that's why people piled up in limbo in those hotels and those barges and those barracks in squalid conditions. If the Labour government is going to run a credible, fair and efficient asylum system, then they need to give people access to it. Okay. And then people could cross safely just like you or I would cross. It's not actually inherently dangerous to cross to the UK from France. It needs to be made safe. Okay, Zoe, it's good to talk to you. Thanks.